Hey everybody, uh, we're here to talk about the Donkey Pro, uh, which is a car that we haven't spent a lot of time talking about, but it's been supported for quite a while, about a year. Uh, the Donkey Pro basically gives you the ability to run the Donkey platform uh, kind of in a standard way in one-tenth scale, scale cars. Uh, the classic Donkey um, is a smaller car, a uh, very short wheelbase, uh, actually really hard to get these cars. There's about four supported cars right now, and all of them are kind of globally out of stock. Uh, so kind of a big problem there. So we um, support the bigger cars for two reasons. One is if you need uh, a different car, these are typically more available. Um, also, it just gives you a bigger platform to build on, gives you a longer wheelbase, performs slightly better, can go faster, uh, and that kind of thing. Um, so there's three standard cars we support. However, the designs of these cars probably work on many other types of cars. And I'll talk a little bit about that as we go through it. Um, the first one we built is this one, which is the um, built on a Tamiya TT01. Uh, it's an old car. Um, it's been around since the early 2000s. Um, so there's millions of knockoffs. Uh, there's lots of different types of them. Uh, this one in particular is a knockoff. Um, and because of that, they're pretty available worldwide. Um, you can get some kind of Tamiya TT01 uh, exact car or clone. Um, it's not um, it's not as good as the modern cars. It's missing a lot of the kind of suspension mechanisms that you'd expect, uh, but certainly good enough for donkey. Certainly available. Um, the big drawback of this one is typically it comes as a kit. You've got to assemble it. You've got to choose a motor and ESC and all those kinds of components. That can be challenging uh, if you're not experienced with RC cars. So, but this is a, a car that's a good choice if you really have a hard time with availability or really want that experience of building up a car on your own. If you want something more out of the box, um, there's a car from Hobby King called um, the Mission D. Uh, and this is a great out of the box car. Um, it has everything that we would want in it, uh, including um, a brushed motor. Um, there's two types of uh, RC car motors, a brushless and a brushed motor. We always recommend a brushed motor. Um, and uh, it's because they're very inexpensive. First of all, they're cheaper than the brushless motors. Uh, but they also have better low speed performance, which is really important for training uh, and testing out your car and doing those sorts of things. There's only one downside of this car, and that's that it has these slick uh, tires that are um, drift tires. Uh, and because they're drift tires, uh, they, um, uh, they don't have as much traction. Typically, you're going to be fine, but when you get to the higher performance levels, you're going to want to switch out these wheels. Um, it costs about three to five bucks a wheel, not a big deal. Uh, but uh, that's really the only thing that you'd want to change in this car. Otherwise, it's a very high-performing, very nice car, uh, one that I highly recommend. And you can usually get it for less than 100 bucks with the motor and the uh, ESC installed. So kind of ready to go. Um, just worth noting, there are uh, different plates, uh, and there is a plate that specifically fits this car. Uh, so it kind of comes cut uh, out of the gate. Um, all of this avail is available on Thingiverse. Um, we'll be linking to that in the notes um, where, where to find all the parts. But it just kind of sits on there, one of these plastic pieces screws on, and you're pretty much ready to go. Uh, so a very nice, compact car. Um, the final one worth mentioning is also a Hobby King car called the Trooper. Uh, and this is a beast. Uh, it's a really big car. Um, it's really uh, kind of robust. Um, it uh, gives you a huge platform to work with. Uh, has these big bumpers and it's pretty much indestructible. I have uh, had high-speed runaways with this car and it's and it's survived them um, uh, and, and it's been really nice. This is the pro version. Um, the pro version has a brushless motor so which is the undesirable motor. If you want a brushed motor you have to buy the normal version so just the trooper non-pro version uh, and that comes with a brush motor so we'd recommend the non-pro version which is also cheaper. Um, it's worth noting that I actually upgraded this one, and this is something you can get into as you get better with these, these cars. Um, there actually is a third type of motor, which is a kind of brushless motor called a censored brushless motor. Um, they're expensive. Uh, it's about an $80 to $150 upgrade, um, so typically wouldn't re recommend it, but it gives you kind of the combination of high performance and low speed training, uh, so it kind of gives you the best of both worlds. It's just, it's an expensive upgrade. Most people don't do it. Um, I did it with the early days of Donkey as we were testing out things. Uh, otherwise, I wouldn't have. Uh, but it gives you an, an kind of a nice best of both worlds. Uh, only other thing to, to know about the Trooper is it's, um, 
it's not as rigid uh, and kind of high performance as these smaller cars are. Uh, you know, it's really designed for off-road. It's got very soft shocks. Um, so something to keep in mind as you're, as you're considering the different cars. In general, the touring style cars, as you get to one tenth scale, are probably the best unless you plan on running uh, in rough surfaces or off-road. Um, as far as the build goes, the build is almost identical to the standard donkey build. Uh, you know, it has one of these little roll bars. It has a flat plate. Uh, you attach all the things identically. Uh, the one big thing that's different is it requires a big printer. Um, because of the size of these parts, we, um, uh, I, I print these, these big parts on a big printer. Um, it prints about 300 millimeter, on about a 300 millimeter bed is what you need. I print on a TAS 5, uh, for those of you that know 3D printers. And the base is made out of, uh, um, the base is made out of uh, some kind of laser cut material. Either acrylic is very nice looking, uh, but wood also works. Um, one thing to keep in mind uh, with that is this kind of gets into a level of manufacturing complexity that some people are not comfortable with. Um, with the donkey, you, know, you can just do it with a small 3D printer, you can get going. So if you have issues with this, you can actually buy it off the donkey store. Um, and uh, actually, I, I run the donkey store, so I'll make all this for you uh, and just ship you the parts. Uh, so that's definitely an option um, if you don't want to do it yourself. The files are open source, they aren't the universe, uh, so you can, you can make it yourself if you have the right equipment. Um, that's about it for these Donkey Pros. Hopefully this relieves a little bit of the pressure that we have on all of the Donkey cars uh, not being available, um, uh, or I should say the Magnet and other kind of similar smaller cars not being available. Uh, you can go ahead and get started with these cars. And it's actually not that much more expensive, and you actually get a higher performance car out of the mix. Uh, thanks so much. Uh, hopefully this gives you a good overview and um, go build some donkeys.